How have these social networking sites benefited or harmed your personal career? Well, I think the, the way they've helped my career is that we're able to use things like Facebook and, and even a long time ago, MySpace, to promote. And, and so you get people who like you that are fans that join, and you get to communicate directly with your fans. And I think that people nowadays like the one-on-one -on -one contact where somebody asks a question on a social networking site, and you can answer that. What I found the negative impact is that someone like me who's a famous guitar player, I can't even use my own name on certain sites because fans already have it. And so you get these impersonators that act like you, people think they're you, they speak for you, but they're not you. And so that is the negative part. But I, again, I think um, it's a matter of time before all that straightens out. So the, but I think the, the good outweighs the bad. And, and if somebody impersonates you, obviously, you know, you're, you're known, so that's not such a bad thing. Um, in general, I would say it can help your career if you are thinking about what you want to do and how you want to do it. However, there is a danger of, um, of annoying people. You know, if you are one of the people that just out there to collect emails and then just send them your newsletter without permission, that's one of those things that goes in a negative category, that's for sure. And you will f find that very, very quickly. And then you're actually working against your goal. So It's a lot of work. It kind of puts a lot of responsibility on the music musician's shoulders now. And um, it's kind of like a little love-hate thing. You know, you, you need it these days. And um, it takes hours of time. You know, like I'm, I've got a gig coming up and I've been social networking quite a bit this week, you know, and it's, it's not exactly what I want to do with my time, but, but it's, it's necessary evil, I guess. I like to use the word current, you know, uh, it's kept me current because people can see the evolution, you know, I have some clips from four or five years ago and I have some clips from, you know, three days ago. And it's like, I've had that a lot, you know, people say, man, like, dude, I've watched all your clips. And it's like, I can see your growth, but they can see it in the span of 15 minutes, as opposed to, you know what I'm saying, trying to follow me and, you know, have all these multiple conversations and moments in life. So that's one way it is benefit. It just keeps you current, you know, as much as possible, you know, and it makes it easy to stay current because you just update it. You know, the downside is it's in real time and what I mean by real time is you know if you was doing this you know in 2010 and here in 2011 maybe you didn't do nothing so people like you know what's up you know it's like that could be you know if they don't have the understanding of man he's in a transition you know he's embarking on some new things but it's taking time to develop like I said I mean I've been sowing major seeds in a field and I'm watching it grow I've been cultivating it and I'm just hope I'm just now starting to see you know to the point where I can harvest it but it's like time has passed since the last you know like I said you're only as good as your last song or your last beat you know what I'm saying benefited in many ways um, I promote a lot of my projects via the social networking sites um, I have multiple sites on Facebook and on uh, MySpace though, uh, and I promote my records, I promote my events, concerts with my bands, uh, I promote my boot camps on it, etc. And I do have uh, almost a hundred percent, you know, uh, reactions exclusively from these sites. I don't use any other uh, tools or. Uh, you know any print media or anything to promote any of this stuff. I only use the socially social networking sites. So it's in some cases or in some uh, parts of my career, it's it's a wonderful tool and a necessary platform for me to promote stuff and a hundred and generates a hundred percent of the business in in those areas. So it's very useful. I've had imposters, multiple websites of imposters and people on MySpace and uh, Facebook who pretend to be me and uh, put wrong information out there. It's just as easy and I've had some very negative experiences with people announcing shows in certain places uh, and telling fans to go to the venue and show up and buy tickets in advance and so on and then of course there wouldn't be a show and then I get the really, the real, the reactions from the people who went to the concert on my real uh, sites, uh, obviously very unhappy people who traveled often a long way to get to a show and then I wasn't there because some asshole 
pretending to be me. So just as a retailer, um, it's it's help people know where we're at. Uh, we just went through a, a, a change of, where we moved from one location to another, and uh, even as uh, easy as most of that stuff is to work to change your address through the mail system to change your phone number, whatever. It's funny how hard that stuff is to change on an absolutely free medium like Google Maps or something like that. Sometimes the request doesn't get through, sometimes information gets screwed up. Um, but for us, it's, it's easy then to tell our friends on Facebook, this is where we're at. Well, the benefits are, um, you know, I guess more work, more visibility, um, reconnecting with musicians that you played with, you know, many, many years ago, which for me is a, is a real plus. Um, on any level, you know, I think even if, if all I done was just played in nightclubs, um, it would be nice, it's nice to get in touch with that person you played with when you were 18, or maybe get in touch with that teacher you had when you were much younger and you want to, you know, not necessarily show off, but, you know, show them that because of their guidance, you are now continuing a career in music. Uh, the, the drawbacks from it are, of course, the other thing that you had mentioned about somebody else being able to use your identity and maybe you know, further their career with that, which is which is too bad. The other thing is, um, the wall of privacy has been has been brought down in, um, I guess, in the whole world. Uh, you know, people putting photos up and, and videos up, and maybe some things that you that you don't want is a uh, is a piece of, of film of me playing <laughs> that I'm not too proud of, okay. but uh, it's gone viral and it's you know everybody's seen it. Uh, and it's just a, a personal thing. It's not a bad performance. There's nothing wrong with it. I just wish that I had played, you know, a C instead of a D or something like that. And 